Welcome everybody to another ed episode of Wait Have You Seen This? I don't know why I messed it up right now, but uh, this is another one of those different type of videos. Um, if you know me, you know I love movies. I enjoy movies. So I think what I'm going to start doing, and I go, but first off, let me say, I go to the movies probably two to three times a week. I really, really love going to the movies. So um, I also do a little movie podcast called Wait Have You Seen This as well. But I think I'm going to start doing these little quick right out of the theater. Um, you know, like reviews of what movie I just saw, whatnot. But anyway, so um, right now uh, I just went to a movie over here at the AMC Theater. Uh, AMC Theaters are my absolute favorite theater. I, I really, really love that theater. Um, it's just a really good theater. I really hope we can keep them around and keep doing what we can do with this uh, specific theater because I, I think they're absolutely amazing. Uh, but they have this thing called the AMC A-List. And so I have it and I get it. You know, you could pay so much money you get to watch up to three movies a week. Now, with that said, they also do this thing called Screen Unseen. And I really like this thing because what Screen Unseen is is them uh showing you a movie that hasn't come out yet it may be a couple of months it may be um a month or two ahead of when this movie is supposed to come out but they they let you see this movie i'm sorry there's people getting out their car next to me so i get a little distracted when um i see people walking around uh, but anyway so i seen this movie uh right now it was called Out of the Darkness. Now, it's supposed to be a horror movie, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm still trying to get used to looking directly at the camera. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to lie to you. To me, it's not very scary. Not very scary at all. I mean, I think I might have jumped in this movie one time. Um, it's kind of slow, in my opinion. It, it, it takes a bit to, to pick up. Uh, and for it to be a scary movie, they don't really do much by way of scaring you in the movie. Um, it's kind of an artsy type film. They're, they're like these shots that a lot of the artsy type movies do where they bring in the, the drone shot and it's going over the, the landscape or whatnot. And what they do is they take that and they turn it upside down. So you're looking at the landscape in the in the, um, the movie upside down and it's just one of those things that um it's just happened quite it's happening quite a bit in movies but um the movie is i mean it's really good i can't tell you the ending of the movie uh per se the twist in the movie i thought the twist in the movie was really good in and what you end up finding out because what it is is like these people it's humans. They're humans like 45,000 years ago. So this is a horror movie, a quote unquote scary movie that's set in, you know, back like 45,000 uh, years ago. And uh, that that matters in the movie, because when you find out what what the the monster is in this movie, it's to me it was really, really clever to me. It was really, really clever. Uh, and that was the best part about the movie. Other than that, it's a kind of a paint by numbers type of movie. Um, I can't sit here and tell you that, you know, I could have done better. I'm not a, a director, but it was uh, a really good movie. And when it does come out, I don't have any information on when it's supposed to come out or anything like that. Because they don't they don't tell us none of that when they let you go see the movie. They just let you go see the movie. But um I thought it was decent. I mean, it's it's not a bad movie. It's just kind of slow at times, and it's kind of uh, I like to say mundane, but kind of paint by numbers. And I was just kind of disappointed that there wasn't more interaction with the with the beast. That's I that's what I think. Uh, it's kind of missing, kind of lacking. You know, they set the stage really well on you getting to know these people and what they were dealing with but it, it felt like it didn't it felt like everything they were setting up really wasn't realized you know wasn't finished uh for to a certain extent 
But again, I didn't mind it. Didn't mind it. Um, again, I, I thought the premise of it and the, the the twist of it was pretty good. I don't know if very many people understood what the twist was, though. You know, I was I think I was the only one that went, oh, wow. But I, I don't think very many people understood what the actual twist was. Uh, all I'll say is with this movie, when you see the monster, uh, you got to pay attention and really look close to its face. And it'll 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 click in your head what they're actually doing you know and and i thought it was i, I thought it was really really good and uh, uh the, the twist was but anyway when the movie comes out i think i'll get out here and i'll do another quick little video so i can talk about it uh spoiler free i mean not spoiler free uh with all the spoilers in it and everything uh but anyways it's been another episode of wait have you seen this i don't know what i'm gonna call this set these segments here um, um, let's all go to the movies. I don't know. I, I have no clue. Well, you know, if you got suggestions, leave them in the comment section or whatnot, and uh, we'll see. But until then, I'm going to say you guys have a good night. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it.